Hello, this is Kim Score, and today I am going to show you how to create this modified tri shutter card. It looks pretty complicated, but it's actually very easy to make. The first thing you need to do is cut a piece of 6 inch by 8 inch cardstock, and I'm using a Stampin' Up! Tangerine Tango. This is the base of the card. So first we're going to, on the long side, we're going to score it at 2 inches, 3 inches, 5 inches, and 6 inches. Then we're going to turn it, and on the short side, we're going to score it at 1 inch and 5 inches. set my board across the side here. So now you can see the score marks here and you'll see this section here and here, this one inch by four inch section on either side, these need to get cut out. So I'm just going to use a hobby blade and if you're confident with cutting straight you could just do this freehand, but I like to have it precise so I'm going to use a ruler and my blade. Now you can see those two sections are cut out like so. Now what I'm going to do is I want to layer my designer papers on here. I selected two different patterns that coordinated together for, for three panels. And the panels are all going to be cut at 1 and 7 eighth inches by 5 and 7 eighths inches. So I cut a panel for here here in the center. Now keep in mind these score marks that we had here and here, they're just going to get covered up with designer paper. And then I cut these little pieces of uh, cards, uh, designer paper for these four little corners in here. You could leave them plain if you wanted to, but I wanted to make a coordinating design here. And these are little squares that are 7 eighths by 7 eighths inch. If you don't want the border around it, you could certainly just use a 1 inch square punch and just punch out one inch squares and pop it in that way too. You just wouldn't have that little orange border around it.
Okay, so I have all of my pieces put on here. Now what we're going to do is, this is going to fold, these two pieces on the side are going to fold in behind this panel in the front. See if you see, I am pushing it together like this, and then this panel is just going to pop forward. And what we're just going to do is lay this on the table and just sharpen those folds in there, with the bone folder. This is your base of your card. And you can see that it's freestanding just like this. Now we just need to design the front of our card and cut, make a little like a miniature card front that's going to be four inches by four inches squared. I use this cute little set from Peachy Keen Stamps. It's called Spider and Web. And I'm going to mount that centered on the front of the card. And in order to center it exactly so that you cover up these two windows, open the card flat like so. And then if you want to make it pop out dimensionally, what you could do is put your dimensional squares right here on the center panel where it's going to go. And then this is just going to fit exactly into this square area. Just like so. So now, when you put it on the table, it'll freestand like so. And then to mail it, all you would do is just, again, push them back towards the back and it lies flat like this. And what I like to do is just wrap a ribbon around the card and tie a little bow in the front, like this. This is the finished card that I did for the written tutorial. Just wrapped a little ribbon around here and tied it. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see many modified tri-shutter cards in the gallery at Split Coast Stampers.